The stage is empty, the audience seated, not strictly true because they're ecstatically on their feet. And I'll tell you, if he wins this, I don't know how we're going to keep the roof in this place. And there he is, and there they are, and here we are seated, and we can't wait. Pictures to be treasured and savoured forever and ever and ever. But the man who stands between Amir Khan and his dream is the man who has bestowed this 60 kilogram division like a colossus. Hasn't lost a major championship ever. World champion in 1999, Olympic champion the following year. Won the world title again in 2001 and won it last year despite having a fractured arm in his quarter-final. This is how good this man is. There is never a single flicker of emotion on the face of this great warrior, now 33 years of age. He could be old enough to be this fellow's dad. Terry Edwards' last couple of sensible, clever words of encouragement from the man who guided Audley Harrison to Olympic gold four years ago. We have seen two successive Cuban goals here on this day two of the Olympic boxing finals. Can the baby of British boxing end a Cuban winning sequence? This man aiming to be the sixth Cuban to retain an Olympic title, and it's going to be very difficult for Amir Khan. There's very little that this fella hasn't done and seen and is capable of, but in many ways we could say the same in terms of capability and potential of this precocious talent. Final private moment. Kinder looks so relaxed, ominously so. He tends to start slowly, just eases himself off. That 33 year old back comes off the ropes. And here we go, can straight into action. Kindle and sensed that, sniffed it out, moved away from it. This is going to be a great tactical battle. We've said about Styles making contests. Look at can first point to the teenager. Yes, coming out well here, very positive. Looking for that right hand. Always a good shot to throw against the southpaw. What he's got to do though, Jim, he's got to get in there and then he's got to go. He can't afford to hold his feet against Kindling. 2-1 to Can. Stepping in with it. Making the great champion work. Kindling has eased and just cajoled and teased his way through the round so far. Culminating with a semi-final against a good Russian, Krachev. Amerkan had it perhaps a little bit harder, had a tough man from Kazakhstan, but in the end, he was the better boxer. Little teasing punch, trying to draw down the guard of Khan, and he's picked up another one. 3-2 now, into the second half of the first round. Good little exchange, Khan's picked him off again, and again. Well, maturity is oozing out of every pore of Khan, and he's got him again, that didn't land. Wonderful. Appreciation there by Kindlin of space and time. Can is bouncing and Kindlin has taken the centre of the ring. Not sure that Kindlin didn't land there. Good footwork once again. Can get picked off, but he's still leading. He's behind at the end of the first in a semi and at the end of the second, and then he came storming through. He may well have to do something similar here, and if he does, well, the party will begin in earnest. He started well here, Khan, and he's staying close to his opponent, which is good, because a lot of, a lot of orthodox fighters fall short against the southpaw, and Khan's not doing that, that's excellent. Thought he landed with a good right hand there, what a good opening round, can you believe it? He's taken a round away from the treble world and defending Olympic champion. Kindlin not bothered whatsoever, neither it seems as Amir Khan. This is an extraordinarily mature performance. Great start by him. Clever little shot into the middle, but he got caught with the left hand. This could still go either way. Yeah, very, very close. Khan, excellent stepping in with the shots. I think Terry Edwards was telling uh, Amir Khan that when his man comes in with the right hand, get yourself into the middle. Kindlin looking very composed as always. Terrific opening round for Amir Khan. 4-3. But I just get the feeling that they're both going at about half pace. 
might just suit Kinlan to keep this contest a bit on the slow side. Well, Khan's just got to keep doing what he's doing, stepping in and actually beating his opponent to the punch. That's excellent from Khan, that's better. Didn't score. Remember, you've got to land with sufficient force in the target area. It can't just be a tap or wonderful right hand from Kindle, and that squared it. Khan's got to be careful. Round the corner, shortened the punch beautifully. Now he's stepping up the work rate, and he's moving pretty quickly. Settles himself down, the wily old warhorse. Great right hand by Can. Good exchange. Kinlan quicker to the punch. Cuban goes ahead for the first time. Can must be careful about keeping his guard up when he throws the shots. He's got to get the gloves up to the side of the head. A little glimpse of just why Kinlan has been supreme in this division. Wonderful stuff by Can. Took one, gave one. Cuban still ahead. Again, the counter punching of Kinlan. A little bit too much, good right hand by Kindlin. Two points, he's up. You've got to stay in touch by the halfway stage, Amir. He's an expert counter-puncher, Kindlin. Just makes you fall short every time, but Khan just got to try and keep him on the end of that long, straight right hand. That's his best shot here. Kindlin always seems to be able to do enough. Great hand speed, clipped him round the air, he? The angle and the distance just seemed uh, beyond even his reach. Good defensive work by uh, Kindelin. This has been a terrific run by the Cuban. There he is again, five points. All that experience and all that massive talent coming through. And Kindelin has opened up now a five-point gap towards the end of the second. This has been the best round of boxing we've seen from Kindelin so far. Well, that's very nice. They met before, remember, in the pre-Olympic tournament. Kindler won it then by 33 points to 13. And he just showed us, well, a little bit more than we've seen in any contest so far. And he, he's kept a lot of it, I think, for the very last uh, contest of his career. Yeah, great counter-punch boxing here from Kindlin. He won the round 11-5. And uh, Khan just slipping away slightly, you have to say, but... What a lovely one too that was from Kindlin, making his opponent miss and then he's back to it, he's back at him. That's great counter punching. He's a master at it, he really is. Khan cannot afford to fall short. He's got to get the feet there, double up the attacks. Well, he's not doing that much wrong, but they're giving him a, a little bit of a telling off. I don't know why. Amir Khan really now has it all to do. It was always going to be a massive task. It was always going to be a massive task to get to these Olympics and to get to the final. He has done absolutely splendidly. So here we go again. Halfway point of this 60 kilogram final. The man who was the champion four years ago and aiming to be the champion here in Athens, Mario Cesar Kindelan Mesa. 15 9 up against the teenager from Bolton, Amir Khan. Quicker hands once again by Kindlin, and it's that right round the corner, just out of the vision of Amir Khan, is causing him all the problems. Kindlin just stepping away to his right, and as he does so, he throws the shot. It's a very clever piece of footwork and hand speed. Yeah, he's moving to superb. You, you know, you have to give him a lot of credit. What he actually does also is not only a good counter punch, he's a great counter attacking fighter. He beats his opponents to the punch there. There was another typical example there with the left. His timing and vision really is excellent. Good footwork by Cannon again. There's that right hand and look how quick Kendall is. Nine points the gap now. And maybe Amir really just has to take a chance. He's got to hope for the sort of shot that stopped the Korean in his tracks in his quarter final. Better work by Khan, he's picked one up still. Eight points between them. Clever little sighting shot into the ribs by the wily Kindle and Khan replies. Very important that Khan doesn't get frustrated here and he's boxing okay, but he's just got to up the work rate without getting frustrated because that's when he'll make mistakes and that's what Kindlin's depending on. Good shot by Khan, he needs a couple more to give him any chance in the last round. There's well, eight between them. Once again, can but wonderful blocking by Kendall and just swatted the British boxer's hands away. Can steps in, he's closed it to seven. Now, come on, Amir, two, three more if you can manage it, would be just the ticket. 
glanced over at Terry Edwards. He'll have a word with him in just a second or so and look at right at the end of the round when he needed it most just to deny Can any genuine chance. Kinlan steps in with a scoring shot. Another great run by Kinlan. Much, much closer. Billy Walsh, the uh, Irish national coach, who's helping out in the British corner because I said one boxer, one coach said you need a big last round. I think that's the understatement of the century. Well, he lost that round 8 5, didn't he? But uh, I think he's boxing well, Amir. He can't get frustrated, can't afford himself to, to make the mistakes, but he's just got to up the work rate and just try and vary things a little bit. A few feints here and there, maybe. But he's up against a 33 year old Olympic champion. I mean, it was always going to be a tall order, but hey, these are the Olympics, and good luck to him in that last round. Well, this is going to be the last time we will see Mario Cesar, Kindle and Mesa in a boxing tournament. I'm hoping that we will see lots more of Amir Khan. He is a precious, precocious talent that has to be nurtured and cultivated. And all the inducements are understandable, but in four years' time, after the Beijing Olympics, he will still only be 21 years of age, and he was speaking earlier to Evander Holyfield, who reckons 21 is not a bad time in which to turn pro. Great right hand once again by Kindlin, opened up a gap of eight points, and Kindlin has kept his very best for his very last contest and his second Olympic final. And all those years of experience and ring craft and work and everything the Cubans do day in, day out, eat, sleep, breathe, boxing that was a great right hand from Khan there just steps in with the punch beat his opponent to it lovely shot Kindlin just being that little bit too clever wonderful counter punching Amir Khan knew he'd been up against a, a master a couple of months ago when they met in a friendly this is not a friendly there's gold and silver to be decided great finish by Khan he's got him with a great right hand that's the first time I think I've seen for, well, maybe seven or eight years, and he's caught him again. Well, if there were four more rounds, I think Khan could win this one. What a display he's giving us. It's not going to be gold for Amir Khan unless he knocks Kindlin out, and nobody's done that. He's caught him again, nine points between them. But Amir Khan is giving it a terrific last round. Well, he has the ability, the natural ability, just to suss out his opponent, doesn't he? It's come a little bit too late in this contest, but, hey... Great performance from Amir Khan. Coming up to the final 15 seconds, nine points between them. Amir Khan took the opening round 4-3, but then the maestro up the work rate, and he's just moving away now. He knows he's got a second successive gold medal. He knows he's going to retire as a Cuban national hero. But what Amir Khan has done has made him a British hero. This has been a great performance by the youngest British boxer ever to win a medal, the third youngest boxer in the tournament. He's against one of the oldest and certainly one of the most experienced and one of the best. And we've said before that this man has not just been the best man in his division in the world for seven or eight years, he's been the best boxer in amateur terms in the world for seven or eight years. He retires undefeated, Mario Cesar, Kittle and Mesa, but what a contest he was given, what a terrific last round, and if I'm not mistaken, Richie Woodall, it was an even last round. Even Stephen last round, yeah, eight apiece, and uh, this, this guy, Amir Khan, can be proud of himself, the whole of Britain's proud of him, because he's had a fantastic games, and, uh, you know, a star is born here. This is a wonderful moment, a wonderful moment. It was always going to be very difficult. We were all hoping that something could be pulled out of the fire for Amir Khan, but Mario Kinlan didn't dodge his fire, but he kept him under control, and Mario Kinlan is the champion yet again. A double Olympic gold medalist, a triple world champion. Mario Kinder, we will not see him again. I hope and pray that we'll be seeing this man in the vest of Britain for many years to come, for at least four, because we could do with a bit of a boost, just like the one he has provided us with so far. Terrific performance by Amir Khan, but beaten by the best man in the world, pound for pound, kilogram for kilogram, five goals for Cuba, and this is one of the greatest Cuban boxers of all time.
Well, it's nice to see him smile. He really has been old stone face himself. There hasn't been a single flicker of emotion. Now he can let it go. Now he can relax. And now he can enjoy his moment. And it is his moment. Well, what a great sequence by Amir Khan. He won the first round. He shared the last rounds two and three. Well, the old maestro really put on the foot on the gas. But what a great finish by Amir Khan. Had he had a little bit more, had this been three threes, who knows? Amir Khan might have been right up there and have taken this man even closer than he did. It's been a wonderful, wonderful boxing tournament for Amir Khan in Britain. And there was a look of sheer surprise on the face of Mario Kindlin as our little boy caught him. What a great display by Amir Khan. Gave it everything for four rounds. Well, I think he knows, Kindlin knows that Amir Khan is an enormous talent and there's great respect there for the two of them the cubans very delighted very relieved this man was the gold medal favorite from uh, sydney four years ago he justified everything that was written and said about him he had to work extremely hard against the teenager from bolton number one in the world mario kindlin but number two in the world by not a very big distance is amir khan Terrific display by Mario Kindlin, as we expected. We knew he'd been keeping a bit in reserve. He's pipped Amir Khan, and a very happy silver medalist is with Gary Richardson. Amir, commiserations, but you've been brilliant at this Olympic Games. What's your first reaction? Oh, I lost the finals, and I really thought I did well, and we could have gone either way, but um, I ain't controlling the judges or anything, so I try my best, and I'm here. Yeah. I'm a silver medalist. But there, there's Olympics to come again for me. You did more than your best because it was even, uh, you were a point up at the start of the first round, even the last. I mean, it was an excellent performance, but you're up against a, a wily old amateur boxer, aren't you? Possibly the best one in the tournament. Yeah, I was, yeah. He's the best boxer I've seen for a long time. And I remember looking up to him and now boxed him and I've done really well against him. It's a shame I didn't beat him, but uh, never mind. OK, don't be too disappointed because you've got to go and collect a silver medal. We're going to let you do that. You go off and get the silver medal and we'll talk to you afterwards. Thank you very much indeed. Meantime, we'll uh, see if we can get a word with uh, Terry and also Mick Jer Jelly. Um, Terry, what was your verdict? I think he, uh, he climbed a mountain this uh, last couple of weeks and, uh, and I think he reached the top of the mountain today. And uh, yeah, all credit to Kindlin. He's uh, a very, very difficult opponent and uh, he wasn't that far short, was he? No, just looking at it, I've scored it there for you. What do you make of those scores? Well, I, thought, yeah, I, I think the, I think the second round was the decider one. I think that he, uh, the first round, I think he could have been maybe two up. I felt, um, I thought the second round was uh, yeah, his worst round. I think, and yeah. even even at the end, um, but he had already lost too much ground. But we, we keep forgetting this boy's only 17 years old. He was up against somebody that was the Olympic champion and a three times world champion. Yeah, I don't think he'd done uh, his, uh, his club, his country or, or the BOA uh, any injustice today, pal. I think he, uh, he fully justified uh, coming here and, uh, and he's going to get a silver medal. Terrible thing that, wasn't it? Christ. Yeah, I mean, everybody would have settled in the camp for a silver medal beforehand, but I, I understand the uh, the disappointment, and, and he's disappointed behind us, but we would have settled for that. Uh, I think we'd have settled for the bronze before we got here. Uh, he came here, as he said, all the way along for that experience, uh, and he's gained a tremendous amount of experience here now. OK, Terry, thank you very much. I know thank you've you. got to go off to yeah. the medal ceremony. You bring him back for us uh, in a few minutes, if you would. Mick Jelly, uh, how did you see it? He tried, he tried his best and that's all we can, uh, you know, he's done his, done himself proud, he's done British and boxing proud. I mean, for a lad of 17 to, uh, we, we had to fight to get him in the qualifiers and uh, he's turned out an hero at these Olympics. I think everybody knows Amir Khan, not only in Bury and Bolton, but I think they know him everywhere in the world now. You can't, you'll have to go, you can go to Mars or anywhere. Everybody knows Amir Khan. They'll have he, heard of him there, I'm sure it, they will, yeah. Mick. And possibly you, you've been on almost as much as him, but you've been saying good things about him. Now, what do you think he'll do for the sport? Because he's, he's such a lovely lad. We've spent the last five weeks with him. What, it, what will he do for the sport, do you think? Well, I think he'll uh, research all the young lads in the country to come back into clubs, because there's clubs in every town. If lads want to go out and find find things to do instead of playing on computers, if, if they like, if they, you know, if they want to, See, there's not many lads kind of emulate, you know, uh, but they can come along and join a club and enjoy the sport. 
not everybody gets to the Olympics. We've found out there's only one in Great Britain yeah. going to right. the Olympics this year. OK, a last quick answer from you. He's going to go and uh, get a medal in a second. Um, not even you will be able to uh, sort of stop the tears rolling, will you, Mick? Well, I'm not going to be singing it. No, it's not. But... No, but there'll be a tear. Well done. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.